Hey, okay, Phil here from PT Precision Automotive. Got a small light truck here. It's a Hino 2008 300 turbocharged. Um, had intermittent issues with no power. They've been driving it for 18 months or something. First time we've seen it um, was a couple of months ago. Came in for a service and for us to check it out. Um, we suspected the turbo. They've got an electronic actuator on the side of them, variable vane turbo. Um, anyway, he didn't have time then to have a look at it. He's brought it back now for us to have a look at it. So the engine light would be on or not be on. It came in with it not on. The turbo was working, not great. Um, so I'd, I'd like to plug things in and have a look at everything before I go replacing. So pressure sensor on here on the, on the pressure side pipe. I hook in. It's for the Y piece, and I run my own gauges. Where's the gauge? Shit. All the way Yeah, so, so so I can see what boost pressure it's running. I run that in the cabin, um, and then so yeah, that's it. So whilst running this in the cabin, this truck had no engine lights on, no nothing on, uh, and then we're driving it and hot, and you could actually see the boost pressure just start to fluctuate and drop away, uh, and the power would do the same whilst driving it and lack of power and so then we've actually made the the variable vane uh, fault code come in the VN turbocharger system now I know on these if you're patient you can actually order the um, the actuator online overseas it's a bit of a gamble it's, it's a lot cheaper um, but it's the turbo possibly binding up in this case as well. I think it's only, it's only got low cases this thing. How many cases? Got, I think you know, it had like 100,000 on the 100,000 case, something like that. So we've done a few of these trucks with the turbo and we've had to, we've replaced the turbo. The whole complete turbo comes with the model. But yeah, we put the Pico on the pressure sensor just to make sure, you know, you gotta go over things. But we'll show you and we'll demonstrate on the, on the cause we actually captured this on video as well when I was doing the turbo, so you know, I'll keep you informed. Right now, so we've um, we've replaced the complete turbo on this Hino. The, the turbo sort of feels okay to me, feels all right, but it's more about this actuator that we were concerned with, with the things um, going into limp home mode and then not boosting up, uh, and then the, the truck was completely underpowered. So the new turbo comes with this brand new on it also. As you can see, you can't see the actuator underneath in the new turbo, so it's right underneath here, so it's affected by heat down there, but you know, what isn't on a turbo realistically, but anyway, so we put, put this all new on, a new, few new studs and bolts and stuff like that, because inevitably some of these snap off and stuff, so it's done a cooling system flush and engine oil and filter change, and, and she's ready to go, so I'll actually set up um, the boost I set up a boost pressure gauge onto the, the turbo pipes, the pressure pipes, as what I did to diagnose this thing as well. So you'll see when we drive it, see this boost nice and evenly now. I have already driven this thing, so, um, but I'll just show you at the end result, yeah? Cool. Right, uh, so we've got the thing all back together. I'll oh, see, so we're just driving it now. We can see the boost pressure now is absolutely fantastic. Nice and smooth through the gears. Once you go, beautiful and smooth. And it's boosting up the 15 psi now, not about 11 or so before. But it's beautiful and smooth without all the bumps. But you know, it's great power. I reckon it feels like it's got another 50 horsepower to me. That's good. Um, so that's it. No engine lights. No engine lights on. No fault codes, I've driven it a few times now. That's pretty good. It's easy. Easy one.